The next thing we're going to show you is the page option. Now we've already demonstrated how to link to a file and upload a PDF or a Word document. Now there is another option that's called page. It's short for web page, but you don't have to know anything about creating web pages to do this. Let's just say we are going to do something with uh, the Rift Valley page, whatever. And so here's my description. Again, I need to enter something there. But let's say this is where this is where I'm just going to put in my information. Actually, um, that's just gobbledygook. But I just just for the for the purpose of this, just so as you can see how it works, then we can again just go save and return to course. And let's have a look at what that what that's done. So here we go. There's the Rift Valley page. We're still waiting for our web page to refresh. There we go. When I click that. Um, I'm going to go to a new page, and this is what I've created. Now, obviously, this if I've, you know, this could be much more substantial than that. Uh, if I put more text in, and we can look at importing images and all sorts of things as well. So I need to backspace now because this is um, that our course page turned into this web page. Now you might be asking the question, why would we want to use page rather than link to a PDF or Word document? And that's a good question. If you've already got the Word document or the PDF, then obviously that's what you'll probably use. However, page will often be used for situations where you want to give a certain amount of information to students and, and that amount of information is too much to put on the actual Moodle page because it's more than a paragraph. So you, you don't want it clogging up the front page, but you might choose to use the page option because you simply want students to read the information off the screen. And also, perhaps you don't really want students to, to print. If you want students to print, then you're going to use a PDF or a Word document. But if you don't want them to print it, if you just want them to read the information off the screen, then page is the best option. Now, here's an example of this option in the old Moodle. Um, this is just a page or a web page. So using computers, this is off of, again, Steve Payne's course. So there you go. There's some information. Obviously, Steve doesn't really want them to print that off. And it's all nice and neat, nicely laid out. So that's an example of something, some information created in page. The other big advantage of using page is that if you want to edit, right, if we go back to Steve's example, if Steve wanted to edit this, then he can just go in here, turn editing on, and uh, don't worry, Stephen, I won't edit, I won't make it, in, um, <laughs> I won't change a course. He would go in, click edit, and then he can change this around and save and display. But if this was a PDF coming off of a link, and this was a link to that PDF, and he wanted and uh, he wanted to make a change, he would have to go to the Word document make the change, convert it to PDF, and then re-upload that PDF to the Moodle. And by the way, if you do do this, you have to use a slightly different name for the new PDF, like version 2 or version 3. So that's just a, a, um, a more difficult way around. But if your students need to print it or to download the document and keep it on, on their computer, then obviously PDF or Word document is the way to go.